I found that uh, I really liked academics and in particular physics and mathematics. And the reason I like these two subjects was for two reasons. Firstly, their universality and the second was their conciseness. So when I was at, uh, doing my undergraduate studies at the IIT Madras, I was uh, primarily in the electronics uh, program there. So I did uh, get to work on some of the mainframe computers. At that time, uh, there was the IBM 370 machine. And subsequently, I went for graduate studies to the University of Wisconsin, where I did both my master's and PhD program. And there I found that I really liked the kind of thinking that went into the research uh, enterprise and where every day you come up with a new challenge and there are no uh, ready-made answers. You have to come and figure out things on your own. So it gave you an opportunity to be creative. So I work in the design and testing of database engines. If you have ever done a net banking or if you have made some kind of a transport reservation, so for instance a train booking, in all of these interactions, although you have just worked with an application software, which is what you see on the surface, really underneath this application software, there is a database engine which is actually doing the heavy lifting of data processing for enterprise information data. So in a sense, database engines are the internal combustion engines of the information processing world. Today we are in the big data world, as you would have seen in all the newspapers and uh, in the media. So somebody has to take all this data, store it, process it, summarize it, and then produce accurate answers from it. So that is what the database engine is doing, is to provide the horsepower to do all these things, uh, uh, all these various operations in a correct efficient and convenient manner. So what we did about 10 years ago is that we started investigating all the industrial strength database engines and we started looking at how this process of optimization where you figure out the best possible way to reach from the source to the destination, how well does it actually work. And what we found to a considerable surprise is that across the spectrum of database vendors and uh, 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 database engines, what we found is that there were serious design flaws that affected how their optimizers were behaving. And what we did was to A, identify this in a nice visual format. And in fact, what you'll see, and you can also see that in the background here, is that you get pictures which essentially look like cubist paintings. And that is the reason that we called it as Picasso. So this created quite some impact because for the first time, people were able to see what was happening underneath the covers. So what our lab did over the next four or five years was to come up with techniques by which one could overcome these flaws and also in some sense redesign the internals of database engines such that you get the pictures that you really would have wanted in the first case. What I have really enjoyed here at the Indian Institute of Science is the complete intellectual freedom where there are no external pressures that one has to answer to. And that has given a very fertile environment, environment in which one can come up with uh, good solutions. The other nice thing, of course, about an academic uh, uh, location is that you have lots of uh, young students who, uh, who will enthuse and encourage you to also uh, kind of uh, match wits with them and uh, to keep uh, in pace with the intellectual challenges. So the legacy that I would see is that we were some of the people who are in the vanguard of making uh, 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 sure that the coming generations feel that computer systems is a viable area of research. It has lots of challenging problems which can leverage tools from various uh, disciplines, from theory, from uh, probability, from statistics to simulation to actual uh, prototype building and so on. So in a sense, we have shown that uh, 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 you can do very good work on computer systems which is not just useful to industry but conceptually sound and serendipitously also happens to have a good value for the industrial relevance as well. I was completely taken aback and I had never expected this at all and I am very uh, grateful to the Infosys Foundation for having given me this award. The reason that uh, awards are useful is that they can serve as a signaling mechanism by the leading lights of your community. So if you look at the jury for the Infosys Prize, they're all the top people in the world. So it can serve as a signaling mechanism for them to say what kind of research they value. Most important thing is you need a very good sense of humor because there'll be lots of ups and downs. In fact, many more downs than ups. But 
if you look at it in the right way and say that every failure is a learning experience, which is what many great scientists have also said, that's in fact true because as you go along, you understand the problem better and better. And every mistake leads to a better understanding of the problem. You should always believe your gut instinct first. If you thought it was the right solution, your stomach is going to be right 90% of the time.